Deadly Standards 2, The Standards of Hell, a community project headed by Walter Confetti. For Ultimate Doom, E2M2 is Vulpine by Capellan, 211, 22, and 5. Capellan. I've played a lot of Capellan. Um, Capellan did, um, oh, what's it called? Doom 404, a full megawatt of, of classic-ish Doom. And then also, re more recently, Spectrum, which was, which was a Doom 1 episode. Doom 1 felt, uh, sorry, Spectrum felt more like It did feel kind of E2, also kind of E3. It was uh, in the E3 slot. But yeah, Compellin. Compellin can be pretty fierce. I actually think I played Spectrum on... Hurt me plenty. But here I am on Ultraviolence on a longer map, 211. Yeah, we'll just shotgun him. The map is called Vulpine. So... I don't know, are we gonna get like a fox outline here, or...? <laughs> I, I, I'd rather it be that, I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's Vulpine in the kind of derived sense. As in... The map is gonna be Vulpine with its nasty little tricks and traps, but we shall see. Oh, are we doing, uh, are we doing containment area here? Sure we are. Why shouldn't we? It's E2M2. Oh, here they come. And here they come! <laughs> yeah, okay. How many of these do I have? Five? That's not enough. Yeah, infinite height could become a small problem here. Uh oh. Where's the berserk? It's supposed to be a berserk, right? <laughs> Just give me the berserk, man. No, don't give me that. I mean, it's intense in there. It's crazy. Crazy. So yeah, a lot harder than e, uh, M1 right off the bat. I mean, e one's, M1 is pretty much a breeze. And then here we start off with, like, demons and cacnemons everywhere in your face. I have to go back inside though, unfortunately, so I should save some ammo. Oh my gosh. Ugh. That's not good. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get stuck over here. Alright. I'm actually going to save over here, because I'm already six minutes into this or so, probably. I'm only four minutes in. Alright, but seriously, where's the Berserk? Because, just give me the Berserk. I know it's in here. It might not be in here. Instead, we're just getting a couple of stim packs here and there. Come on, man.
There's too many of them. We need some better equipment here. Come on. Oh, there's some rocks. That'll be helpful. Alright, gentlemen, we're going back outside. We're, we're gonna take it outside. Alright. That's a good shot. Ah, stupid brown tree. Okay. Oh. Blue key up there. That may be what I'm going for in here. Ultimately. And maybe over there or something. I was doing good, man. The brown tree had to come get in my way. Anyway, this is an ammo shortage situation that I don't particularly mind. So far, anyway. It may get to that point. But for now, it's kind of... In you got enough space to work with, so it's, it's more a matter of... Uh, you know, you gotta go back. This is obviously the safer spot, but you gotta go back in and kind of refuel your ammo. So you can't just stay out here forever. And you also have to try to get some decent rocket shots. A couple of birds with one stone. All right, that's worth saving. Capellan is pretty much the patron saint of cacodemons, by the way. Major cacodemon lover. Yeah, so no, I don't. I, I think the ammo is pretty good there, because. I mean, yeah, I come out of it with one shell, one rocket, but I do have bullets, and there's probably more stuff scattered in here. So, you're not allowed to just kind of wait out here, which obviously is easier. You do have to come in, and once you come in, the ammo's not just right there. You gotta, you gotta find it, you gotta explore, you gotta come up on some of these crates. You gotta go get your chainsaw, would have maybe helped with the demons a little bit. Now, we can kind of... Did I save already? Now we can kind of hunker down and explore a little bit if I, after I kill this human, if I can find him. There are five secrets. Capellan kind of prides himself on no cheap secrets. So generally they're not going to be you know, humpable, simple humpable things. Oh, I thought this would be a kind of a dead end, but it's not. Plasma gun over there. That ledge with that pillar just really reminds me of something in, uh, in, um, Spectrum. All right. Um. Hmm. So. I don't actually. I don't think I can get the blue key yet. So I think I do have to go where I was kind of heading. Who is shooting me? Where are you, dude? There you are. My goodness. Yeah. It looks like you got to get in there actually to get the blue key. I like the setup here. You can kind of see how the map's gonna play out. It looks like I'm gonna go that way. Eventually, kind of get in that little skyway there and go into there and come get the blue key. I feel like there's a secret in this room that I'm not seeing. So yeah, it looks like we got two paths to choose from. That one had a plasma gun, so we're going to try that again. 
But yeah, nice room. I mean, look, people, you don't... This is a boring room. At face value, look at this. It's just a rectangle. I mean, it's it's a not a rect... I don't know. Does this shape have a name? This Utah shape? It, it's, it's a boring room. But it's not. So you don't have to make the player look at tons of ceiling detail and, and wall detail if you've got stuff in the middle that's going on, you know, crates everywhere is pretty much enough detail that you don't necessarily have to spice this room up a whole lot more. There's also a little bit of lighting with the overhang stuff here, so yeah, you don't need to, don't need to try to overdo it here. Um, I, I mean, I don't know, you, you could argue it's a little bit bare with the just right angles and stone all the way, but I think you would notice that a lot more if this weren't such a fun, action-packed room with the crates everywhere. All right, let's go. Oh, hello. What happened there? Oh crap, now I am running out of ammo. Gotta go get some of those. Shells. Ooh. Am I gonna get this plasma gun already? Wow, well that's a secret. I don't even know how I activated that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Huh, that seems too easy for Capella. Well, whatever. Of course, now I won't find the trigger now that I'm looking for it. Alright, anything else up here? No? Alright, what's up here? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that could have been a lot worse than it ended up being. for comfort. Ow. Alright. There's a lot of enemies. We got lost souls that aren't accounted for. I mean, there's like tons of triggers for that. It seems like that's a really easy secret. So, obviously you're su kind of supposed to have the plasma gun here. Is this going to connect to that other area? Saved it way back here. That's not cool. See, now the ammo shortage is more bothersome to me. Because it, here it doesn't seem as, as purposeful as towards the beginning. I mean, whether I'm using chain gun or shotgun isn't really that different, but out here it's just like, 
I have to switch to whichever one I actually have any ammo for. And you know, obviously, it's an easy secret, but if I don't get it, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. No. No! I got six, I should be able to kill all of you. None of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess the bottom line is there's no saving your plasma. You know, I don't really want to play like this, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, cheat for some health. And uh, not that much health, though. Oops. Okay, not that little. I, yeah, I forgot I can't switch back to the fist unless I get a reserve. I just want like 40 or 50. There we go. We'll go with that. So yeah, obviously, um... That was a nice form of human move. <laughs> just got right in the way of my shot there. But yeah, if there's that, if there's a, oh, an armor. Wait, wasn't there crap here blocking that path before? I think there was. Yeah, I like when that kind of thing happens. Um, yeah, if there was any goal of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, difficulty balance or Steady incline, it's not achieved in the first two. At all. And and, and this one's mostly created through lack of supplies. You know, this map on its face isn't super difficult. Oh, you can go up both ways there, that's cool. Isn't super difficult, but uh, you're not really given any health. And uh, ammo's getting a little tight as well. Whereas the first map was pretty easy. There's some bullets for me. Alright. Yeah, normally I wouldn't cheat to give myself health, but knowing Capellan, there's not gonna suddenly be a bunch of health. It's gonna be tight the whole way through. So my only hope would be you'd like to find a Berserk. Also, I got the armor really late. That would have helped a lot. Oh, we're over here already. I didn't really expect to be over here already. Okay. Barrels up here kind of tell me there's going to be some serious action. why I'm humping things like this. Alright, so now we can get the blue key. We can also go over there if we wanted to. Ah, more cacodemons. Go back to our little ledge here. 
So yeah, now the ammo is pretty abundant, but how many cat demons are out there? <laughs> oh, hey, I see you guys. Oh. Oh, come on, what did I even shoot at? I have no idea. Must be a monster right below. Oh, that's what opened. I didn't even, I didn't even see it the first time. Oh, that was weak. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> so they all got damaged a little bit, just enough. All right. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Oh, that's where they start. Okay. Hmm. Spectres. Oh yeah, they're not done yet. Yeah, it's interesting. This uh, this fight doesn't work quite as well as the opening fight because you do have quite a bit more ammo here. So with the, with the amount of space and the freedom to kind of go around and around and around, and you never really get stuck, which you would if you kind of ran out of ammo and you had to come in here and get some. Oh, actually, I did come in here and get some, didn't I? Yeah, it's, it almost seems like you need a pain elemental here. That way you'd have something to really go after right away. Obviously there are no pain elementals in Doom 1, so that's not an option. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could be close to done. I, f I felt like this map would just be longer. But it was pretty densely populated, so I guess that's where we... Um, that's where we got our kill count up. I like the extra trim of the SP rock out there. It ends right there. That's a pretty nice touch. Wait, where are they? Is that the exit area? That probably is the exit area. Alright, we'll go around. I never got my berserk. Yeah, I could hunt for a couple more secrets, but we're not going to do that. I think we're 
Yeah, here's a nice Shores of Hell touch. Um, I got the blue key card, but it's actually marked with blue skull. I don't think... I'm almost positive Knee Deep in the Dead never did that. I don't think Inferno did it. Or Thy Flesh Consumed. This is not the exit I can tell by the map here. So, what is it? Okay. Oh, a little bit more action. A lot more action. Gosh, it's another, like, huge ton of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess... <laughs> I guess we're done. I'm fine with that. Um, alright. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, a lot of stuff is just very... I don't, uh, Capella maps always feel very calculated, like very precisely orchestrated on, on how they're going to kind of play out. Um, you may like that, you may not. I think it uh, definitely shows skill on the mapper's part, at least, if nothing else. Um, yeah, you definitely had the E2 feeling with this map. Didn't really feel like any map in particular, which again, one didn't really either. That's fine. Um, obviously, you had the crate maze as a central part of it, which is cool. Um, Cacodemons, yeah, Cacodemons. Um, it's fun. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm kind of torn between, did it get a little bit old by the third wave? Yes. Is it Doom 1 where you don't really have that many options? Yes. So both of those things I think are true. I could have probably lived without a big finale in this map. Um, and just kind of had the exit be a little bit more direct. I mean, the map was still 20 minutes and still felt complete, still felt difficult and challenging without another wave of cacodemons coming in at the last moment. Um, but, but other than that, yeah, I thought pretty fun stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not really complaining about the ammo or the health in this map. I just am noticing it's very different from map one, so I don't know if that's something that was really a goal as far as that kind of continuity or um, even this throughout, but I'm saying map one and two, that comparison, it's not there. It's not there at all. I, and I don't know about the whole wad. I don't know about two to three or three to four or whatever, but one to two, it's not there. Um, and that's that's fine if if that's not a concern or that's not a goal, but just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, solid stuff once again. I'm sure there was a ber berserk somewhere, but obviously I didn't get it. Yeah, it seems like I, I'm okay with secrets being all but mandatory if they are easy to find, which that one was. The only one I got, the plasma gun. I mean, it's going to be pretty hard to miss that secret because you see it, you hear it, you're going to figure that one out, so... I'm I'm kind of, I'm fine with that. All right, that's map two, Volpine.